Alright, welcome back. Today we are deep checking Mateo. It's a Battle of the Blues video. So in the middle here we have Mateo, then we have Walker and Marin. And I know you guys mentioned, I think, both of these shades. If not, I was thinking of both of these shades. So I just had to do all three. We may get rid of one while we're doing it. So this video, we're doing a little bit of a different setup. And I'm going to keep the bottles in the frame while we're painting. I feel like that actually helps us compare them easier and definitely not to get confused. So on my index finger, we're going to be applying Marin. Marin is a newish release. It was released within the last two or three years, I'm pretty sure. I... I love blues, so when I get blues, I tend to wear them. And I remember Marin came out not too long ago, so you may or may not have it if you are an avid Zoya shopper. But I will say later in the video, we're gonna like be getting rid of that one because the other two are closest. So next up is Mateo, which is the main one we are comparing here because Mateo is from the new Dreamin' collection. I had trouble getting the bottle open. Um, but we're gonna apply that one now and see what we think right off the bat and in the bottle wise you could actually tell that Mateo and Marin are not dupes for each other they're both a great standalone blues Marin is a bit more like a navy blue where Mateo pulls a bit more cobalt I would say and maybe that's the wrong terminology but that's kind of my take on these blues and then Walker though Walker's interesting just putting my nail on top of the Walker Walker bottle makes it feel like hey this is this is going to be close so we're going to have to check on this one for sure so Next up is Walker. Walker is also new. I want to say this came out in like 20... If I say a date, I'm going to be wrong, but I want to say it's 2019, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, putting those right next to each other and on top of the Mateo bottle, they look very, very similar. I still feel like Mateo has a slight lighter tone to it compared to Walker. Marion at this point is definitely darker. We're going to throw that one out for now and just talk about Walker and Mateo here. So these do very, they feel very, very familiar and similar, I should say. Um, in some lights, I definitely feel like these could be dupes for each other. But applying the second coat does make Mateo a bit um, lighter and creamier looking than Walker. Whereas when I put on Walker in a few moments, it's going to look a tad bit. And I mean, a teeny, 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 tiny bit dark, darker than Mateo. So... Again, I don't necessarily think that these are dupes, but I do feel like you don't necessarily need both of these in a collection unless you are a major blue fanatic when it comes to nail polishes because I know blue nail polishes are very, very hard to find like the exact shade that you absolutely love. It's it's kind of a battle. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to do. I have a lot of blue polishes because I'm still always like after the certain tone that I don't know how to describe. And I have found it since then, but it's just like blues can be tricky colors and they smell funny. And I will say all these blues have that traditional blue nail polish smell. But looking at these right here, Mateo is a tiny bit lighter than Walker. And I like both of them equally, but I do think I prefer Mateo over Walker. I feel like it's a bit brighter, it's a bit happier possibly, and I tend to pull towards that type of shade. It also reminds me of the ocean, which again, you guys probably know anything if it's ocean related pulls me that direction. But I could also see these being used together, possibly in a gradation. All three of the shades we actually just used together would be interesting to use together. So it wouldn't be like a major, major gradation, but it would be enough that would give you a neat blue effect. So I think that summarizes this whole video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below. If you are interested in any other shades, let me know. I know Dory was mentioned and again, I thought I had Dory, but I guess I do not. I think I've always like looked for Dory in stores and just never purchased it. But I checked my stash, I checked my website to search to see if I had reviewed it in the past. And I don't believe I have Dory, so I'm so sorry that I couldn't pull that one out to compare to this one. Also, in regards to Summer, somebody asked about Carla against Summer. And Carla, I believe, was from like 2014, and I do not have the collections from 2014. I have a very few sporadic Zoya polishes from then. And that one's really pretty, but just looking at pictures online, I think Summer is a bit brighter and has a bit more of a green tone to it. So just keep that in mind if that was you that was asking about that. And other than that, um, I think that is it. Feel free to ask questions down below about any other shades or ones that you may have thought I missed. 
or maybe I forgot to look for it, let me know and I will get back with you and let you know the status on those. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.